of 119 pounders. First of all in the red corner, Sergio Reyes. Lives in Fort Worth, Texas. He's a corporal in the Marines. 1991 U.S. champion. His opponents, 22-year-old Paul Ayala. Also 119 pounds, also from Fort Worth, Texas. Trained and coached by his dad. And an interesting thing about these two young men, they've met 16 times as amateur boxers. A neighborhood rivalry to see who could be the best in the world. And you look at the uh, tail of the tank. Oh! That's revealing only in the sense that there's not a huge height, height and reach advantage. And for Reyes, that's important because he loves to box on the inside. Bob, we're faced with the same thing in this match as we were in the last. Ayala being a, a southpaw, Reyes must stay to the left and land the left hook and put his left foot outside the right foot of Ayala. And look, he's doing it much better than Mario Bueno did. That's why he's landing those left hooks. Showing us a clinic on how you're supposed to fight a southpaw. Now we mentioned that they have met 16 times previous. And Ayala even admitted that Reyes leads 8-7, 9-7. Uh, this is the 17th time that they have met. So they, to say the least, know each other. And Reyes takes the early lead on our computerized scoring system. We're going to keep repeating this, but in case people are just turning in so that you understand what the points mean, five judges at ringside, three must agree uh, that the punch is a scoring blow. Push within, push the button within a second, and then it's registered as a punch. Therefore, the points. Sergio Reyes off to a very good start, as you can see. What makes him very special is the fact that he, he boxes with what, in effect, is a pro style, but has adapted it to the amateurs. Early on, he's getting a lot of disqualifications. I saw him disqualified against Sean Fletcher in the Olympic Festival. He has altered his style slightly so that he gets much, many fewer warnings and point deductions and disqualifications. And that'll be important if he makes the Olympic team, because in Barcelona, he'll be facing a whole different crew of officials. Well, Sergio Reyes is a corporal in the Marines. He's a foot soldier. He gets out in September. His unit was not uh, in the Persian Gulf War. His nickname is Small World. Began boxing at the age of six, and this is a family that likes Sergio Reyes and likes boxing. His mom, Sophia, and his dad, Benjamin, drove 36 hours from Texas to be here for the Olympic trials. And I think uh, people thought that he would be boxing against Sean Fletcher, but Paul Ayala beat Fletcher in the semifinals and performed very well in it. But style-wise, Reyes is not the best matchup for Ayala. He's had some success against him, but, and there you see good work on the inside, but Reyes really is trouble for Paul Ayala because of his style. Ayala has uh, 360 amateur fights. By the way, this, this Paul Ayala, not related to the Ayalas who are from San Antonio, Texas, but these folks live in Fort Worth, Texas. Trained and coached by his father, Frank, these are 119 pounders, and they use eight ounce gloves. And Reyes with a big lead in this first round of the 119 pound class final. Reyes could not be performing better. He's fought his fight plan perfectly. Final seconds, round one. Again in red is Sergio Reyes, a 23 year old. And his opponent, Paul Ayala, 22-year-old in blue. These are 119-pounders finals of the Olympic boxing trials. Sergio Reyes has a lot of international experience and stamped himself as a real favorite to win this, the berth on the American team and also possibly to, to have a good shot of the medal when he won the pre-Olympic tournament uh, recently. And uh, in that tournament, he beat some very top international fighters, Bob, and performed extremely well. Mm. Again, as you look in the second round, this is like watching a football game when a boxer scores, the points come up on the screen. Five judges at ringside. If three agree, then a point is awarded, and there you see right now Reyes leading 34-9 in the second round. And of course, that is the official scoring. That is what is happening. The judges are scoring it as we go, and that is the actual score. You know, Reyes, to me, is kind of the Roy Jones of this year. I remember when Roy Jones won the, the Golden Gloves back before the last Olympics. I remember telling everybody, Roy Jones is great. He had not been seen until the trials in the box office.
And then, of course, he went to the Olympics and was terrific. I think Reyes is a very similar story. Until about five, six months ago, nobody was talking about Sergio Reyes. When he won that pre-Olympic tournament, all of a sudden people said, hey, guess what? He could be a top boxer for us, and I think he will be. Now, his only problem in uh, our conversation with him yesterday is staying at 119 pounds. Uh, after even this fight for the uh, title of the 119 pound class, he'll go out and run a couple of miles to keep his weight at 119 pounds. So if he can just manage to hold off until uh, the end of July, uh, I don't know how much he will be uh, sapped of his strength staying at 119 pounds, but he looks comfortable now, but he has to work very diligently to stay under 119. These Olympics, if in fact he gets there, it will probably be the last time he can box at that weight. But he's, he's, he's still active. He stays active through three rounds, so I think he'll be able to do it. And, you know, Ayala is fighting his bout on the inside, but it's almost the only one Ayala can box against him. Now you mentioned earlier in this fight that in fighting a left-hander, you want your left foot outside of the left-hander's right foot. Well, look at the feet. That's of where Reyes. it's been. All, yeah. all fight long, his left foot has stayed outside of Ayala's right foot. And, and Paul Ayala has either been unable to or has simply forgotten to move to his right to avoid that. And Reyes, when you box Sergio Reyes this way, you are simply going to lose. He's just an excellent boxer on the inside. There have been no warnings from referee Lester Hebert of Crowley, Louisiana. There have been no cautions. These two guys have basically stood in the middle of the ring and just hammered at each other. And that's almost unheard of in a Sergio Reyes bout, so that's a good sign for him. End of round two. Reyes leads. Blue skies are gray skies. I'll always... Of refreshment. Final round of the 119-pound class in red. Sergio Reyes with a big lead. Paul Ayala. These are 119-pounders. And you see the score. That is up-to-date scoring. Electronic scoring system. Majority rule scoring. For the first time in amateur boxing history, you're watching as the points change. As you see, Lester Hebert finally step in. That's a warning to Ayala for pushing. He's cautioning him, and then a warning would, uh, would deduct a point from him. And uh, that it is remarkable that so few cautions have been made uh, and no warnings to speak of uh, in this bout. Because you see how Reyes fight boxes on the inside. And uh, often in these amateur bouts, he gets a lot of cautions and, and warnings. Now, see, that's intriguing. His head was pushed down, but Lester Eber cautioned Reyes about putting his head down. But one thing about this fight, when Reyes gets done, his left arm should be tired. He has thrown a whole oh. bunch of left hooks. Well, we have, as we've seen the official scoring come up, which we remind you is the official scoring, and there you see it. That is what the judges are showing. It's the first time that's been seen on television. Uh, so many of those 59 punches are, in fact, left hooks. Probably 50 of them have been left hooks. Not too many jabs or straight right hands. And the judges continue to total. Three of the five judges have to agree on a scoring blow within a second, and it gets put up there, and that is the official scoring. Sergio Reyes told us yesterday he wants to be Bantamweight champion of the world one day. Already got his own business. He designs T-shirts. Was proudly wearing one yesterday to our conversation. Didn't have one in your size or my size, though. How, how, how atrocious. How dare he? <laughs> he's, he's really a, a bright, articulate young man who knows where he's going, and he wants to get to Barcelona, and he is taking a big step toward that here today. And don't let's not shortchange Paul Ayala. He is boxing well. He is trying hard, but tactically, he has really fought the wrong about, Bob. He just has not been able to move to his right and box Reyes. Reyes in the red, Ayala in blue. By the way, Paul Ayala of Fort Worth is a photographer for the sheriff's office there in Fort Worth. And these two guys, this is the 17th time they have met each other. This has been a very entertaining fight and also an excellent lesson by Sergio Reyes. He's given us a clinic on how you box a lefty and how you make impose your style on the other man. Paul Ayala has been unable to box him, not able to move to his right. And, and because of it has been hit with what seems like a zillion left hooks, although we know the exact number, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. <laughs> at least three of the judges of the five sitting at ringside have seen most of the hooks that yeah, we've seen, That's Al. for sure. Great 68-19, and you can watch as the score changes. It's like Michael Jordan 
making a free throw. What a concept for boxing. Yes, it is. Final seconds, final round. Sergio Reyes wins at the 119 pound class. And we'll join Jim Lampley in the Prudential up Update Studio after these words from your local stations. Why are more people?